Hello, my beautiful friend, and welcome back to the cozy little corner of YouTube here. That is Nova Gnome Creations channel. I am Nova, and I'm so happy to see you today. Come on into the cozy little corner, leave your worries outside the door, and pick the comfiest seat that is perfect for you. I am wanting to spend some time with you today and do a little bit of crocheting. So if you would like something pretty and relaxing to look at, pretty and relaxing to listen to, and just a little bit of company while you crochet or have coffee or whatever it is that you are doing, then you have come to the right place. To start off our relaxation session, I thought I would do some motivational affirmations, some um, crafty affirmations, some things that might inspire you um, or kind of instill positivity or growth, those kind of thoughts. Um, if you don't know what an affirmation is, it's basically a mantra. Um, it's something that you can say, repeat it to yourself. You put it in like the first person. You say, I am this or I do this. And basically you speak your words into reality. And I always encourage you to take away from uh, affirmations what works for you and leave what doesn't. You can feel free to, to uh, repeat after me or to write them down or anything like that. Or you can simply just kick back and listen. I am a talented artist. A creative rut will not stop me from creating meaningful art. New ideas come easily to me and I can transform them into beautiful art. Fear of failure can't stop my creativity from achieving its potential. The work that I do has a positive impact on the world. My art is a testament to my talent and tenacity. I am continuously improving each and every day. Making art is my way of transforming negative emotions into something beautiful. My work inspires people to look at life from a new perspective. I enjoy expressing my inner feelings through my art. I appreciate the opportunity to share my talent with the world. My imagination is powerful, and nothing can stop me from expressing it. I am full of creative energy. The process of creating fills me with happiness and confidence. I respect my artistic vision and don't compare myself to others. I enjoy sharing my art with others. The struggles I am facing here help me become a better artist. I am constantly surprising myself with the brilliance of my art. I deserve to be loved and respected for the work I do. Every day is a fresh start to make something wonderful. I am brave and ready to take risks with my art. I am curious and always find new ways to grow as an artist. Through my art, I discover new parts of my personality. I allow myself to make mistakes and learn from them.
Creativity is abundant within me. I am exactly where I'm meant to be on my artistic journey. I seek progress over perfection and community over competition. My art impacts others by inspiring and uplifting them. I think outside of the box and color outside of the lines. I am confident in my ability to improve my skills. I compare myself only to who I was yesterday and acknowledge my personal growth. Creative expression flows through my veins. I create works of art because the process fills me with joy. My imagination is endless and limitless. My art provides value to others, regardless of how many people see or like it. Creative energy vibrates within me. With my art, I create beauty and magic. Now I'm just going to speak from the heart and I'm going to tell you some things that you may need to hear that you're not hearing. Some things that are definitely true. And even though I'm not here with you in person, I want you to know that I 100% mean them and feel them. You are worthy. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of time. You're worthy of the things that you get, the things that you have. And if you don't have what you need, you are worthy of having those things. You are important. You are loved. I love you. People in your life love you. People that you may not even realize think about you very often love you. You are loved. You are wanted. You are cared for. You are important. You deserve to take time for yourself. You deserve to take those worries and those burdens and all the weight of the world off of your shoulders and set it aside You can come back for it later if it's something that you need to take care of, but you can't carry everything all of the time. And you deserve to take some time for yourself and relax and feel a little bit of weight relieved from yourself. Just get to exist. Take some time to be creative, to be relaxed, to take deep breaths, whatever's going to fill you with some joy. You deserve to do that. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for all of the things that you do every day. All of the little things that you think nobody notices or you feel like they're too small to be proud of or to pat yourself on the back for or people around you just take for granted. Maybe the little things like taking out the trash or emptying the dishwasher, doing the load of laundry. Maybe even simple things that feel really hard for you sometimes, like taking a shower, brushing your teeth, getting up and getting out of bed. I am so proud of you. 
all of those little things that seem like nothing that that just get taken for granted they all add up to being so important some of the most important stuff we will ever do you know if if you weren't doing those little things imagine the chaos that would happen imagine those little things not happening not getting done they're important and you should feel proud of yourself and even if you're not doing as many of those little things as you wish you were or as you feel like you need to, you deserve to be proud of the things that you are accomplishing. And I am proud of you. I'm proud of the things that you're accomplishing. And I'm also proud of you for the big things that you accomplish, the more noteworthy achievements that other people notice and other people might congratulate you for. But maybe you don't have someone in your life that does that for you I'm just here to tell you that I am so proud of you I know that that took a lot of work I know that you do things that they take so much time and so much effort and you just want someone to notice well I am super proud of you you are doing a great job and you deserve to be proud of yourself too and I just want to tell you that everything is okay. Everything is going to be okay. If it's not okay right now, if it just really does not feel okay, it will be. It will get better. Everything is going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And everything is going to be okay. And one of my favorite reminders for myself because this is absolutely something that was like a groundbreaking discovery to me a groundbreaking realization and it really shouldn't be but it was is that you are enough you are enough already you have all of these things that you want to do, all of these things that you want to change, you want to be better at this or that, you don't feel like you stack up, you're comparing yourself to other people. You are enough already, as you are. What you're doing is already enough. Who you are already is enough. You are already succeeding. Just having tried you have succeeded. Just the action of trying, the action of doing it, you have succeeded. So if you're comparing yourself to somebody, and this could be in your art, it could be in your crochet, it could be in your work, your house, it could be in um, the money that you have, the family um, dynamics, just like it could be literally anything in your life. And you're comparing yourself because we as humans are absolutely horrible for comparing ourselves to everybody. We shouldn't do that. You are already enough as you. You are you. You're the only person in the world that is you. And you are already enough. I guarantee you that there are people who love you as you are. And even if they don't, you can love you as you are. You can think, I am enough. And you need to think, I am enough. And that is going to change your world. If you're anything like me, that's going to change your world to realize that. Because we aren't taught ever that we're enough. We're taught to constantly compare ourselves to other people, constantly strive for the next level of whatever it is that we're doing, that we need to be better, we need to look better, we need to have more, we need to just everything. We are constantly taught that we need to be striving for the next level and that we are not enough already as we are. We aren't taught that we get to a point where we can say, I've done it. I've succeeded. I've, I'm here. I'm, I'm good enough. You are already enough. You, you are already enough. Not just me, not just her, not just him. You are already enough. You are enough just as you are. And we need to redefine success because if you are trying, if you are getting up and you are trying at whatever it is you are doing, you have already succeeded in the fact that you have tried because you could have just not tried at all. You could have just not. 
You are already succeeding and you are already enough. Super, super, super important, super life-changing. At least they were to me. Those were things that really changed my perspective, changed the way that I felt about myself and about the world. And realizing that you are already enough, it doesn't mean that you're going to stop trying. It doesn't mean that you no longer have goals or want to get better at things. But it means that when you do try something new and don't necessarily succeed at it or it doesn't come out the way you wanted it to, it's not like a, a devastating earth shattering thing that you put so much work into something for it to fail it's you put so much work into it and you succeeded because look at all of that work you put into it look how hard you tried you trying really hard it should mean something and it does mean something you just don't realize it. you're not letting yourself be like okay I did that good job me it maybe didn't come out the way I wanted it to but man did I work hard at that I put myself out there, I tried something new, or I tried to do something better, and you know what? Maybe next time it'll come out like I wanted it to, but I didn't fail. I succeeded. I did this. I am already enough, and I am already succeeding. So those are your affirmations for the day. Okay, and now I want to remind you of some things that you maybe forgot. Or maybe you don't know and you need to be told. But you are never alone. You're not alone in this channel. You're not alone in this community. You're not alone in this world. The things that you're going through that feel so hard and feel so impossible, you're not alone going through them. There's people who have gone through those things. There's people going through them right now. There's probably even people in our Yarny community or our Nomi community here who are going through them too. So you are never alone and you're also not alone like in friendship and in life because guess what? I'm here and I love you and if you comment in this comment section and hang out in this community, you have a lot of people who care about you that you probably don't even realize. People who see your, who see your name pop up and they get excited to read what you've said. They get excited to read the kind words that you put into the world or they get excited to see what's going on with you and your family. They get excited to see your projects. That's one of the things that Community Spotlight um, on Fridays that we do has shown me so much is you guys love each other. It's not, you know, you don't just love being a know me. You don't just love me. You don't just care about my family. You guys care about each other. You love to see each other's projects. You love to see what everybody else is working on. And if you don't realize that, if you don't feel that, I want to tell you and remind you that you are cared about here and you're never alone. So if you feel alone, you are not alone. And that you need to take time for yourself. And that's something that I always... Um, try to remind everybody of because it is so easy and I feel like people who are creative and crafty um, people are also frequently like more empathetic people um, and we have a tendency to be people pleasers we have a tendency to put ourselves last and put everybody else first but you have to remember that you deserve to be a priority in your life so I hope you guys enjoyed our little relaxation session and I will see you guys tomorrow.